Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, welcome to my bathroom. My name is Micah and I'm doing this video today because after I did my skincare routine for Everyday May, someone commented, can you please show us what's in your bathroom? Now my bathroom isn't all that special. It's a bit basic, but it func it's fully functional. Um, this is one of the parts of my house that I still would like to change. Um, so I'm currently trying to save up so I can have a new bathroom installed in like the next year, year and a half or so. Um, so um, in terms of storage, it definitely was a little bit of a challenge because it's not very big and you're currently sitting on top of my washing machine because that's living in here too. Uh, my shower is behind me, as you can see, and I just keep some like daily bits and bobs in there. I don't really keep anything special in there. So if I show you what I keep in my main like bathroom storage, you also get an idea of what I currently have in my shower. I have a little bit of storage under my sink, but again, not very interesting because it's my medicine cabinet and it's where I keep backups of my deodorant and my toothpaste and things like that. So again, not very, very interesting, I think, to show you. But what I'm standing next to, and it's currently off camera, and this is also something I've already shown you, uh, a couple of months ago, actually, at the end of 2018, I did a bit of a skincare tour of what was in my skincare collection at that moment. But in that video, I told you that I wanted to try new things because 2019, I'm all about the skincare. I'm really trying to up my skincare game. So in the past couple of months, I've been purchasing some new skincare bits. And with skincare, I am that person who uses something up before they move on to something else because my skin is quite sensitive. And if I switch around too much, my skin just doesn't like that very much. So that's why I do have a lot of products here, which I know it's a bit crazy, um, but I'll also take you through some of the other shelves that I have in this unit. Uh, so let me just show you what's here. <laughs> All right, so welcome to my skincare shelf. Now there's one more shelf above this, and this is just a shelving unit that I got from Ikea. Most of the furniture in my house is from Ikea because it's just easier. And this is bathroom storage that they do. I needed something to fit this particular space right here next to my washing machine. And this fits perfectly, so that's really great. The top shelf right here, I just keep spare towels, tissue paper, and like laundry detergents. So again, not showing you that, not interesting. And then on this shelf, that's where I keep most of my like skincare items. And I know this, most of this is like backups. Uh, what I tend to do is if I love a product, I tend to repurchase it so that I always have something I, on hand that I know works with my skin. And I definitely didn't buy all of this in one go, of course. Um, that's a little bit crazy. I also tend to buy quite a lot of it on offer or with like discounts if I can. So uh, don't worry too much about that. Uh, and quite a lot of it is actually quite affordable too. I, I like a mixture of like more high end and drugstore stuff. Um, so before we get to the products, um, you will be seeing that I have these containers here. I got those. I didn't have those yet uh, last winter. I bought them last spring um, because I felt that everything got a little bit like jumbled together and I wanted to separate it a bit more. So I got these containers. They were very affordable. I got them from a store here in the Netherlands called Xenos. Um, they do organization home stuff. So... Just look, like, I think in, in some places they do these at, like, discount stores as well. So just have a look around what you can find, and then you might be able to find what's in there. So we're going to start here in the back, and I'm not sure you can see this very well because it's a bit dark. Say hello to my little friend right here. Um, he's from the body shop. It's a sponge, but I just, I just like him for decoration. It's a little penguin. He just makes me happy. All right, so right here in the back we have face masks. And I'm not a big face mask person because it's just not something I do a lot. Uh, I find it aggravates my skin a little too much, I feel. But I do have a couple that I really like. Um, I have the Purifying Avocado Oatmeal Clay Mask, which I feel does something very similar to the Glam Glow Mutt Mask. Uh, it sort of extract, extracts everything out of your pores, and I love those kind of face masks. Those are my favorites. Another favorite is a Caudalie Glycolic Peel. I also have some of the Body Shop stuff in here, their Tea Tree Mask, which is a bit much for my skin. Their, um, um, what's this called? Uh, this is their Warming Mineral Face Mask. I believe this has ginger in it. And then I also have from their newer line, the Chinese Ginseng and Rice Polishing Face Mask. And I like all of those, got some testers in here too. Uh, a little brush that I love to use when I do apply a face mask, I like using that. 
and then there are some sheet masks right here. Then right next to that, I keep my backups for eye creams. I always have a couple on hand. Woo! And these are my two favorites, the, the Tuina Oak Serum, so this is a serum for your eyes, aloe vera, and the Vitamin E Eye Cream. This I can use day and night. This is mostly, mostly a daytime eye cream for me. It works really well on a makeup. And also in here are some face spritzes. I've got some rubbing alcohol here that I keep in a little spritzer bottle, just if I want to disinfect something or anything like that, I can do that. Then I have the Mario Badescu uh, um, facial spray with aloe vera, cucumber, and green tea. Uh, that's something that I... Ooh, things are falling over. That's something that I'm hoping to try, actually. I haven't tried much by Mario Badescu as a brand. One of my favorite face spritzes is the Vitamin C face spritz by The Body Shop. This was discontinued. That's why I still have it in the old bottle. I was hanging on to this because I didn't want to use it up, but... They now brought it back, so that's great. And then I also keep some sunscreen in here. I'm not big on sunscreen in the sense that I haven't found a good sunscreen to wear underneath makeup, but I tend to mostly wear sunscreen if I know I will be out and about all day in the summer. Uh, so I have an SPF for my body, SPF 30, and then an SPF 50 for my face. I love the Garnier's... Uh, SPF line. Then right here all the way to the left we have some cleansers. That's what what's going on here on the left hand side and I love Garnier for their micellar water so I always keep a couple on hand. They always do these on offer so I always have a couple of these. I love the micellar water with the dark pink cap which is formulated for dry sensitive skin as well as their by face uh, like micellar water in oil version and this is a new one. This is their a version for delicate skin and around the eyes. So I think you can use it as an eye makeup remover, this one right here. Haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. And then at the bottom right there, it's sitting on top of the Take the Day Off Face Balm, or Cleansing Balm, I should say, by Clinique, which I'm looking to try. I like cleansing balms in the wintertime, and that's a cult favorite, so I wanted to try it. Haven't gotten around to it yet. More cleansers on this side right here. I keep two of my favorite The Body Shop cleansers here. They're foaming face wash from their Aloe Vera line. OG. I like putting this in my shower so I can give my skin a good cleanse in there. As well as their Aloe Vera Calming Toner. It's my favorite toner I've ever tried. I've tried other toners, but I don't like anything as well as that. It's very gentle. And then I also have some Lush products in here. I have their Ultra Blend... Uh, Cleansing balm. This is currently my favorite cleansing balm, so that's why that is always like a little tub. I always like to have it on hand. And then I have the Bush de Noel. I also like Angels on Bare Skin. Both of these products are very comparable. And it's like a little face scrub, you could say. Again, I have this in my shower. When I shower in the morning, this is just a really great cleanser to do a quick cleanse when you're in the shower. And then we have these three here, and this is where I've expanded my skincare the most where I'm hoping to try more, and where I also have some bougie options for you. Um, these, this one right here, I dubbed, I've dubbed my treatment tray. This is face oils and like serums, and this is moisturizers. And then this one here at the end is what I'm currently using. So there are a couple of products in here that I am reaching for, um, that I am, that I have in use, but most of this is unopened. So that's something that's good to know, I guess. I tend to use up a skincare product before I move on to the next because I don't want to stress out my skin too much. And I feel that that works really well. So let's start with the treatments here on this side. And what I'm currently using is this. This is the Ordinary's Lactic Acid. I heard that if you're trying to get into like acids and peels, that a lactic acid is a great one to sort of get started. So, since I don't want to freak out my skin too much, because it is quite sensitive, I decided to start with this. I've used up quite a bit of this, and I'm really liking it, so that's something that is really nice there. Then I also have one of their retinoids, which I'm hoping to try. I am in my 30s, so it's high time that we start thinking about that too. Another ordinary product is their vitamin C suspension, which I want to move on to once I am done with the lactic acid. Even though they say this is something you can use every day, but I'm a bit nervous about it. <laughs> um, this big one here in the back is their vitamin C liquid peel by The Body Shop. Again, I think it may be a bit too intense for my face, but it's something that I do want to try as like an ex exfoliant. And then I also bought some Dr. Jart from Amazon over the wintertime. This is their 
Ceramidin Liquid Moisturizing Toner. And this is just a product that intrigued me a lot. I'm not really sure how to use it, but I think it might be a nice like first step before you start applying makeup. So I think this will be a nice replacement when I once I run out of serum, but I'm not sure yet. And then there's some bougie stuff in here as well. I bought some Sunday Riley bits. This is the Good Genes Glycolic, Glycolic Acid Treatment. Um, I want to work up to being able to use that. So I first want to get my skin to get used to a couple of the peels and acids that I have. And then I want to get to be able to use this like once a week because I think that that will really work best with some of the texture that I have in my skin. But I think I won't be able to start using that until next winter actually. And then I bought two minis of their Juno oil and their Luna sleeping oil. And this is something that I bought as like a little duo so I can hopefully mix the two and like have a bit of a nighttime treatment like once or twice a week for a little bit more intensity uh, because I feel that I had a tester of the Juno and it worked really well, but using it every day was a bit much for my skin. Next up is the oil uh, side of things, you could say. Those are the ones that I've been using the most are right here at the front. This is the Buffet Serum by The Ordinary, and this is my currently my daytime serum. I wasn't really using anything like that. This is a peptide serum, which I've heard is really good for like plumping your skin, making sure it rebuilds collagen, something like that. Again, I'm in my 30s. I need to start thinking of these things, but it's a really nice one. It works really well on your makeup too. Then as a, well, this could be a treatment actually, because I don't use it all the time. If I have a pimple, I go in with this. This is a tea tree oil, and this is from uh, the home brand of Kreutfeldt, which is a drugstore that we have here. This is like two euros for a bottle. It has a little dropper. It's really, really great. And then I have the Ordinary's uh, Rosehip Seed Oil. Uh, so this is a face oil that I'm hoping to try. I'm currently using another one by the Ordinary. And face oil is what I prefer to use at night over a serum. I find most serums don't work well for me, so I love face oils, which is why I have a few. Um, two of them are favorites and three of them I'm hoping to try. So let's talk favorites first. The Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate is one of my favorites, so I repurchased that because I love it. And a very cheap and cheerful one is also from that Kreutfeldt line. This is again like two or three euros. This is their almond face oil. Really nice, works really well on my skin. It's very gentle, it only has like two or three ingredients. It's very affordable and I love it, but I'm not sure about you, but it looks quite high-end. You wouldn't think this is like super affordable stuff, but it is. Bougie stuff then, I bought the Votary Super Seed Facial Oil. Um, and this is like an all natural brand. Um, this is a very expensive face oil and I just want to see if it makes a difference. So I want to see whether my very affordable Kreutfeldt oil is as good as this very bougie, much more expensive oil, pretty much. And then we have some more pricey products in the back as well. I heard some people recommending the Moisture Surge by Clinique. Uh, the concentrate when I did my pre one of my previous videos and I had a gift voucher lying about and I didn't really know what to do with it and I was like oh I could buy the Clinique concentrate and try that so I want to start using this instead of like a skin essence um, once my skin essence runs out I don't have a lot of essences currently and then another bougie product that I'm still keeping in its uh, in its box because I think this may actually be sensitive to like light and moisture. This is the Herbivore Orchid Facial Oil, and this is supposed to also work with like, um, like first signs of aging. And this is again quite pricey, but it's one of those that I'm hoping to try again some of my more affordable oils to see if it really does make a difference or not. Uh, if it does, I'm going. My bank account is going to be very sad, but I'm just really hoping that some of my more affordable options. Are as good. Next up are moisturizers and these are all back backups. Four favorites, the Olay moisturizer from the Total Effects line is one of my favorites. It's very very, it's always on offer. I always have one of these on hand. It's great for the nighttime, for the daytime. I can use this whenever. It has very nice handy packaging so I also like this for travel. It's always a good thing to know as well. And then the Aloe Vera Soothing Moisture Lotion with SPF 50, 15 by The Body Shop is also one of my favorites. I love this stuff, especially in the in the summertime. It's a great one. I have some more of the Body Shop stuff here. This is the Vitamin E 
Moisture Protect Emulsion with SPF 30. I wanted to try more of the SPF moisturizers from the Body Shop because I hadn't tried those. And then I also have the Vitamin C Glow Protection Lotion. This is one of the quickest to sell out products when, once it's back in stock on the Body Shop, I believe. So this is mostly out of stock. It's very hard to get your hands on because so many people love it. Some new things that I'm hoping to try, the Dr. Jart Ceramid and Cream, I've heard great things about that being very moisturizing, but I think it's definitely more of like a winter time thing for me. And then I have the Glycolic Solutions uh, Moisturizer by Peter Thomas Roth. Someone recommended I try this in one of my previous skincare videos, found it on Amazon for not too much money, and I decided to just give it a go and see it. If it works for me, I'm not sure. Again, may have to use it over the winter time because it has the glycolic acid in it. Maybe not something I want to use right now. And then something I've used uh, a tester of, but that I wanted to get the full size of, was the Clinique Pepstart Hydro Blur Moisturizer. I love this stuff last year when I tried it. It's very hydrating. It's very cooling on the skin as well, so this works well in the summertime. And on this side right here, we have the day-to-day -day stuff. So if you watch my skincare routine video, you've seen all of these products because this is what I reach for on the daily. Uh, I have my Skin Essence by The Body Shop. I'm loving that. My face oil, this is the B oil by The Ordinary, which I use in my nighttime skincare routine. In the morning, I like spritzing this Mandarin Face Mist by The Body Shop, but the Vitamin C one is back and I love that more, so I will definitely be purchasing that. Then I have my daytime moisturizer and eye cream here by Origins. That's just coincidence because I didn't plan that out. But the ginseng line is one that I love. And they now do a cream rather than a gel in the moisturizer. And it works a lot better for me. And I love the eye cream. And then I have some Kiehl's products here. I have their uh, Deep Moisture Balm. This is a great moisturizer for the nighttime. And then I have the eye treatment, avocado eye treatment. Which I think that eye treatment by Kiehl's, I, this is like my third or fourth tub. I'm not entirely sure. One of my favorite eye creams. All right, so this is the shelf where I have, part of it is skincare, and the other half is hair care stuff. So let's start with the hair care. I'm not gonna get into this too much. What I have here in the middle is sort of like my daily skincare or hair care stuff, and I've been asked to do a hair care routine whether I can talk about that, so I will do that in a separate video, and then I'll go in depth in what I'm using for my hair. Backups are off to the side. I tend to use Lush Shampoo Bars and conditioners now. I've got some dry shampoo here off to the side, a hair oil, because my hair is dry, and this is my uh, shampoo that I use to wash my brushes. So this is not the most interesting of shells, I think. And then here I just have some face cloths, uh, some makeup wipes. I tend to use those for like little bits and bobs, taking off swatches, all that. Those live here. I've got my deodorant right here in the back. And then my current like cleansing routine is here, Lush Ultra Bland. Simple eye makeup remover, the Kiehl's, almost gone, uh, toner, calendula toner, and this is the Garnier uh, gel uh, by face um, micellaring oil uh, that I'm currently using. So that's this shelf. Right, and this is the last shelf. I have one more shelf below this in this little um, organizer, but that's just like cleaning supplies. And so that's not very interesting. This is the body care shelf that we're looking at. Whoops, I'm knocking things over. Um, this is the body care shelf that we're looking at. And as you can see, I have shower gel on this side. Most of it is the body shop. I love them. Um, Vineyard peach is one of my favorites. Almond milk and honey, especially in the winter time. I love this for the summertime, the panita colada, which was limited edition a few years ago. So it usually comes back for the sale, but I still have three of those. So. I really don't need any more. Then I have some ordinary or ordin original source um, mint and tea tree, which is a very nice scent. So I like that. And then I also have the whipped clean shower gel from Soap and Glory. I have Buddy Butters right here in the back. I use those as hand and foot creams. So I have a couple of those on hand. I've got some scrubs in the back as well, but I don't really like scrubs, so I don't use it a lot. If I use anything on my body though, I tend to go for these like oils, bio oil, or this like body oil from Atos. I also have some eight hour cream here. I have a Lush massage bar and some Nivea because it's just a bog standard, but a staple. Right, so those are all the products I'm currently keeping in my bathroom. Most of it is skincare, as you can see. 
And uh, yeah, I definitely don't have to buy any skincare anytime soon. <laughs> um, I have, I still have a couple of things from La Roche Posay on my wish list, and I'm going to Paris over the summer, so I. I think I may want to pick those up there because it's just easier to get there and I think also a little bit more affordable, but I love what I have right now. I have different things to reach for in different seasons, different skin needs, and uh, yeah, I definitely have a little bit here to try and to try out. And uh, like I mentioned, I use something up before I move on to the next with skincare because my skin is a little bit sensitive and it doesn't always like it if I change it up too much. So that's why I tend to stick to what I'm currently using for now. Um, and you will, I'm pretty sure you will see some of these products popping up in like empties videos or maybe I can do an updated skincare routine in a couple of months if I'm using completely different products again. Who knows? So we will definitely be coming back with some more skincare related content very, very soon. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you stuck around, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll make new videos three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 5 a.m. Central European time. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.